Tobel, Huyedach. Dear staff and students, in a country like ours, because of the myriad of problems we face in the public and private sectors, the accountancy profession plays an important role in issues of governance and compliance. Accountants acting in the public interest help improve governance through professional ethics, education, and oversight. At the University of Johannesburg, contributing to knowledge in this important field has always been a core to our business. In this regard, I am excited to share with you the good news regarding the performance of our students in the June 2019 initial test of competence of the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, also known as SICA. The ITC is the first of two professional examinations in which candidate chartered accountants are required to pass in order to register as CAs. The results show that UJ has achieved an overall pass rate of 92.3% for the 2019 ITC cohort of 278 students in the College of Business and Economics, otherwise known as CBE. We have once again produced the highest number of successful African candidates of all residential universities nationwide with 155 African candidates passing the June exams. These positive results emanate from our university's role in the Tutuka ITC repeat program offered to African and colored candidates of all universities. The program recorded a pass rate of 66% compared to the national pass rate of 38%. To the hardworking captains of the accounting department under the stewardship of the executive dean of CBE, Professor Daniel Van Lille, as well as the Orange Army that wrote the examinations, this is a job well done. We are immensely proud of you. Speaking of achievements, please join me in congratulating Professor Samuel Oluwafemi, Professor in Applied Chemistry in the Faculty of Science, for his professorial inauguration on Monday, the 19th of August, 2019. Professor Oluwafemi's inauguration address titled, How Small Things Can Make a Big World a Better Place, The Significance of Nano in Macro World, delved into the broad field of nanotechnology. His research reflects on some of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Professor Oluwafemi, well done and congratulations. As the beat of Women's Month goes on, we will soon commence with the second series of our campus engagements with fellow colleagues at all our campuses from next week. These engagements allow for the face-to-face -face interaction between the university management and yourselves, enabling us to chart our collective vision towards a progressive future. The Auckland Park Kingsway campus opens the talks on Wednesday the 28th of August 2019, while the Auckland Park Bunting Road, Soweto and Dwarenfontein campuses await their turn. As mentioned last week, our Library and Information Center has partnered with TEDx to organize high-octate community-driven TED Talks to showcase the most fascinating thinkers and leaders. This platform will bring together experts from various sectors for an exciting day of presentations and discussions that will inspire new ideas and opportunities across all disciplines. The first UJ TEDx talk took place yesterday in the Chinua Achebe Auditorium under the theme Reimagining Our Present and Redefining the Future. It was certainly a riveting discussion. I hope you also found it inspiring. This past Tuesday, 20 August 2019, I presented the 2018 Stakeholder Report. It was a year of highs and lows. But overall, 
it has been a period of great achievements. The highs have included the fact that we have been ranked among the best universities in the world by the Times Higher Education Global Ranking and other university ranking entities. The achievements of the last year are too many to list, but among the st standouts is the fact that many of our professors, researchers, and students were recognized for their outstanding work and contribution to knowledge in their various fields. 2018 was also the year in which we expanded and consolidated our partnerships on academic exchanges and research collaborations with other universities around the world. We remain focused and steadfast in our commitment to teaching and learning, research, to pushing at the frontiers of knowledge and educating the next generation. At UJ, the sharing and dissemination of knowledge for societal benefit is part of our game. The report is now available electronically on our website. Our art center at the Auckland Park Kingsway campus will be buzzing with jazz melodies as the UJ Weekend of Jazz kicks off tonight. Various artists will perform live on stage, with each day setting a different jazz vibe until Sunday the 25th. Enjoy! Lastly, the university community lost one of its most loved associate professor, Professor Tessa Hochfeld. Professor Tessa Hochfeld was an associate professor based at the Center for Social Development in Africa. She passed away tragically in an accident. May her soul rest in peace. With my very best wishes, thank you, Nia Bonga Bayadaki.